start off, I guess the first thing is really to talk about how you may have gotten to PBCS or ePBCS. Um, there's really two common paths. So you are either migrating from Hyperion Planning, you're a longtime Hyperion Planning customer, and you did a lift and shift of your existing Hyperion application, or you're maybe net new customer um, where you had no prior Hyperion Planning footprint. And these two different sort of ways of getting here, you know, when you talk about migrating from Hyperion Planning, most often what we see is organizations are happy with their current implementation and they really just want to take the existing functionality in Hyperion Planning and port it over to the cloud environment. And whether it's because they don't want to make any changes or because it's just too daunting of a task to make these changes or enhance it, they really use the same application they were using in the on-premise world, just using it in the cloud. And on the other side of the coin, you have a bunch of net new customers, and they often take very um, small sort of first steps. Um, the idea in those implementations is you start, think big, but start small. Um, and the idea is through a series of phases, um, you increase functionality as you go. So regardless of where you might fit in this spectrum, um, I'm hoping this presentation has um, some use for you, because I think there's opportunity in either of these situations um, to make your application uh, more efficient. 